Hello to all of you wonderful people. This is Nidhi Bansal here from Medhya Herbals. We help women to gain health with all natural and holistic principles of Ayurveda. And in today's video, we are going to learn about signs and symptoms of estrogen imbalance or specifically high estrogen levels in women and what you can do about it. Estrogen is a growth hormone that controls the functioning of female reproductive system and participates in a lot of other vital functions such as the growth of your bones, the functioning of your heart and cardiovascular system as well as your metabolism as it directs the storage of fat inside your body. That's why any imbalance in estrogen levels can severely affect your physical and mental health. And if you are a woman and you have been feeling off lately, it is possible that your estrogen levels are imbalanced. That's why it is really important to be able to identify the symptoms of high estrogen levels inside your body and act in time to prevent any serious health conditions going forward. And in this video, we are going to do just that. We are going to look into the signs and symptoms of excessive estrogen inside your body and how estrogen levels can become high inside your body and what can you do about it from an Ayurvedic perspective. Let's get started. First, let's understand what estrogen is and its significance. So estrogen is a group of hormones that is produced by your ovaries, by your adrenal glands and also the fat cells inside your body. Yes, they are able to produce estrogen. In fact, after menopause, when production of estrogen by your ovaries declines significantly, it's your adrenal glands and the fat cells that contribute to the levels of estrogen inside your body. That's why even after menopause, some women can struggle with high estrogen levels because the amount of fat inside their body, in specific the belly fat, is a bit too high. Apart from the health of your bones, your metabolism and your mental wellness, estrogen is responsible in specific for the function and maintenance of your reproductive health involving your menstrual cycle, the growth of your uterine lining, as well as the development of secondary sexual characteristics in women and girls, for example, the growth of breast tissues, as well as the distribution of hair on the skin. There are two cases in which the estrogen levels inside your body can become high. Number one is absolute level in which a woman is producing too much estrogen. Number two is in where estrogen is higher as compared to progesterone which is also an essential reproductive hormone and in this case high levels of estrogen is relative and this condition is termed as estrogen dominance. In fact a large majority of women struggle with estrogen dominance as the primary case of high estrogen symptoms because progesterone is essentially a hormone that helps us to control the effect of estrogen on our body. Now whether your estrogen levels are too high in absolute way or it is because of estrogen dominance the result is the same it can lead to a lot of symptoms and health problems. Now let's look into the causes of high estrogen symptoms inside your body. So the first factor that contributes to higher levels of estrogen is poor liver health. Liver is the primary detoxification organ inside our body which helps to bind and flush out excessive hormones including estrogen. That's why whenever your liver health is compromised, it leads to a slow buildup of estrogen inside your body and also leads to excessive growth and inflammation which estrogen can trigger. The second common reason is the hormonal or birth control pills. These pills also are based on estrogen or even progesterone, yet these synthetic sources of hormones control our period in an artificial manner, thus blocking the natural balance of hormones inside the body. That's why a lot of women who are on birth control pills also struggle with symptoms of high estrogen levels in specific estrogen dominance. The third factor here is your life stage, in specific menopause or perimenopause when your hormone levels are already changing. Usually during perimenopause, the levels of progesterone go lower a bit faster as compared to estrogen. And if your body is not able to support 
poor the balance of progesterone during this time, it can lead to estrogen dominance and hence symptoms of high estrogen levels inside your body. Some of the other reasons of higher estrogen levels are excessive stress because cortisol, a stress hormone, can severely disturb the balance of progesterone and estrogen. This is because the raw material for cortisol and progesterone is same. If your body has to produce excessive cortisol due to excessive stress that you are going through, it will not be able to produce sufficient progesterone, thus leading to a condition of estrogen dominance. Some of the other factors are higher fat inside the body. As we just saw, fat cells also contribute production of estrogen inside. That's why when you have higher fat, in specific higher belly fat, it can lead to high levels of estrogen inside the body. Now let's look into some of the symptoms that you should be aware of that high estrogen can lead to. Now high estrogen levels can also lead to conditions of insulin resistance as well as hypothyroidism in women. That's why you will find that some of the symptoms of high estrogen levels also coincide with these conditions as well as some of the typical symptoms that women go through during perimenopause when their hormone levels start fluctuating. When estrogen levels go haywire inside your body, the first thing that they affect is your menstrual cycle. Some of the signs of high estrogen levels are excessive menstrual bleeding, heavy and painful periods which are often accompanied with presence of clots. You may also experience prolonged menstrual bleeding or spotting in between your menstrual cycle. As we just discussed, estrogen levels also affect the distribution of fat inside the body. That's why higher estrogen levels can lead to a lot of storage of fat inside your belly area leading to higher amount of abdominal fat and heavier hips and thighs because estrogen also controls the formation of this typical pear-shaped female body and thus it can lead to storage of more fat in these areas. Also, estrogen stimulates the growth of your breast tissues. That's why the presence of high estrogen levels can lead to heavier breasts, big sized breasts, which can often be accompanied with the presence of cysts because it can lead to irregular and abnormal growth as well. Your mood and mental wellness as well as your sexual desire or libido are also significantly impacted by the levels of estrogen inside your body as it also controls the functioning of your reproductive system and of your nervous system. That's why whenever your estrogen levels are high, it can lead to a lot of irritability, mood swings, anxiety and no desire for sexual intimacy. High levels of estrogen can also compromise your digestion severely where you struggle with acid reflux, gas, bloating, incomplete digestion and constant abdominal pain. Presence of high amounts of estrogen inside your body can also affect the functioning of your nervous system thus it may trigger headaches and migraines in specific the times when estrogen is changing inside your body during ovulation and during menstruation. High levels of estrogen can also lead to brain fog or problems with retention and memory. It also affects your menstrual cycle as we just saw. Thus, it can lead to fertility problems and also of excessive growth inside the uterus such as endometriosis, PCOS, adenomyosis and even growth of fibroids and polyps. Estrogen also affects the functioning of your bones and of your skin and hair. It directly acts on the hair follicles. That's why whenever your estrogen levels go high, it can lead to a lot of hair thinning, premature graying of hair and even loss of hair. High estrogen levels also affect your sleep resulting in your inability to sleep or getting up in the middle of the night and not being able to sleep afterwards as estrogen also affects the functioning and distribution of melatonin hormone and thus you may end up feeling tired and wired thus completely unable to sleep. As we just discussed, estrogen also affects the functioning of your thyroid gland as well as the functioning of thyroid hormones inside the body. 
in fact high estrogen levels have been linked with autoimmune thyroid disorders Hashimoto thyroiditis that's why it is really important to take note of all these symptoms and prevent high estrogen levels from compromising your health estrogen levels inside your bloodstream can be checked by doing various tests such as blood tests urine tests or saliva tests all of these are reliable methods to get an estimate of estrogen levels inside your body. However, in some cases, it may take time for your body to reflect all of these numbers or all of these hormone levels in the bloodstream. But if you are getting any of these symptoms that we just discussed or you are seeing any signs, you should definitely consult an experienced doctor who can advise you on proper action. Now, some of the ways in which you can control estrogen levels inside your your body are estrogen detoxification i am sharing a link to a video over here which goes into details of how to get rid of excessive estrogen from your body through your diet and lifestyle and some of the specific measures that you can take to bring your estrogen levels to balance are by practicing a healthy diet and lifestyle a diet which is well balanced and contains a variety of micronutrients in specific fiber can really help you to get rid of the excessive estrogen from your body. In addition, practice a stress relieving and relaxing lifestyle so that your cortisol levels are balanced. You should also try to manage your blood sugar levels so you can keep check on your insulin sensitivity and does help to promote balanced hormone levels inside your body so that was all i hope you found it useful do leave your comments and feedback and do subscribe to media herbals channel so that you stay updated with the latest ayurvedic health tips that i share over here i will see you soon in the next video until then bye